Hello everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Today's video I'm going to do for you is Hi for Wabi. Loads of people have asked for her um, in a tutorial, so that is what I'm going to do for you today. Hope you enjoy. I've already moisturised my skin with some Ember Release. I'm then going to go in with a little bit of Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This one is 115. I'm just doing it with my hair off my face because um, otherwise it just gets in the way and drives me mental and possibly drives everyone watching the video mental. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer now. I've chosen this concealer palette. Uh, this is from Pam which is um, a makeup store in London, Pam Makeup. Um, the reason I've chosen this is because it has loads of different colours in it. So for those of you um, that have very, very dark under the eyes. I know that um, Hafer is Lebanese, so she hasn't, hers don't look too dark under the eyes. But for those of you that are very blue under the eyes, these sorts of colours here, which look really scary, will just counteract the blue out, which I will show you a tiny bit. I'm going to use this orangey one here. These can be used on the cheeks as well, so they're a good little investment. I'm going to pop a little bit on the end of my brush. It's probably even a bit too much there. I'm going to wear it down on my hands, there's not much on there. And I'm just going to run that under the eye. It might seem really backwards to you and like, why is she doing that? But the warmth in the orange will just counteract out the blue of the under eyes. And then, when you go and put your concealer over the top, you're going to have a better coverage than you would normally have because it won't look green and ashy. I'm going to use one of the concealers just from the same palette. But I am changing brushes. And that just warms up that under eye nicely. Now for the eyes, I'm going to use a little bit of base. This one is a NARS primer. I'm just going to pop that on first. I'm going to use my finger just to work that in. Now the palette that I've decided to use for the eyes is a Louise Young palette and it's got some great colours in it. Um, I think perfect for this look which is why I've chosen to use this one. I'm going to use all the colours that are in there so I'm going to start off with the lightest colour. I'm going to use a reasonable size brush, this is a Louise Young brush and I'm just going to run the base right the way over the eye just to take away any slight tackiness that may be left from the primer that I've used. Because I sometimes find if you put your colours on too quickly, they cling to it. So I'm just running this over the top just to seal that all in place. Then I'm going to take a MAC 217 and a little bit of this next one along and just run that right the way along the eye. So right the way over the socket. And with the MAC 239, I've got to run the same colour underneath the eye. I'm then going to come back to my same old 217 that I was using before but use a little bit of the terracotta shade and that's going to sit just 
through the socket. Now you'll see that Hyper uses these colours quite a lot, these warm terracotta -y browns, and I think it is because her eyes are green, so it makes the green stand out a little bit more. I think her eyes are green or she wears contacts, but they look green in all the pictures. So I'm just taking that right the way around the socket. She's really not shy with the makeup, so I'm doing a little bit more than I would have probably done. going right in here as well. I'm then going to take a MAC 266 and the black eyeshadow and just run that along the lash line. It's also brought out quite a bit on the sides. I'm going to bring it right out and blend upwards. So this is just with a black eyeshadow to start off with. And then I turn my brush and blend it so it's a little bit softer. Now the um, liner actually is quite thick at the start, so uh, normally when I do my eyeliner it's thinner, but it's, she's, she goes quite thick, which I think is beautiful. Now the key to the makeup is thinking a few steps ahead. Now I know that um, she has quite a lot of black liner underneath the eye and they join, so I've kept my flip quite straight and quite low to elongate the eyes so don't go too high with this now as you would if you were doing a 60s flick we want to keep it long and cat like I'm just pushing the brush upwards just to make sure that that's not too firm a line because I'm going to put a black gel liner over the top anyway so this line can just be made a little bit softer Next I'm going to move on to the underneath the eye and I'm going to use my uh, 239 MAC brush and a little bit of the terracotta colour and just run that. I don't want too much of this so I'm going to take a tiny bit off my brush because these are very pigmented, these eyeshadows. I'm just going to run that really gently under the eye. Just so it brings that warmer tone underneath. I'm then going to go in with my 266 and a black and just run that right the way under the eye. Quite thick as well. Now the terracotta just softens the black along the edges a little bit. Now as I said earlier these should just meet at the corner. So we're just meeting together there. I've then got an Avon Super Shock gel liner and that is going to go right inside my eyes to make that super black in there. And you want to also put that on the top waterline so you can close your eyes and just run it over. Right, next step is to get yourself a black gel liner. This one is Black Tracks from MAC. And I'm going to use a fine brush from Louise Young. Just pop a little bit on my brush. 
I bought a new black jacks because they need to be it needs to be very very movable and I find that sometimes when you've had these pots a little while they get a bit dry so I bought a new one especially for this look because we need to get a good point here now so I'm going to run that right the way along the top of the eye so it makes that even blacker and then get that point I need to bring that point down a tiny bit because it actually comes a little bit lower down here It's quite a tricky thing to get the point, so don't stress if it takes you a while. We'll going to leave that to set for a little while and move on to the top of the eyes. I think I will do the brows first. So to do the brows, I've got a MAC 239 and I'm going to use the same palette as I used before. I'm just going to use these two colours to create the brows. Now her brows have got a real high lift here. And they go very straight. And they're the same thickness right the way round. And they're also very dark. I'm then going to take my concealer that I used earlier and a thin little brush and just conceal under that brow. While I've got that concealer out I'm going to run a tiny bit just down the front of my nose. Just to highlight that, use my concealer brush to blend that through. Next I've got Vanilla Pigment from MAC and I'm just going to run that through the brow bone. To give that a nice highlight. I'll come back to the vanilla and I'll probably use it on my face as well, on my skin. I'm just going to pop a little bit of mascara on. This is Clinique High Impact Mascara. Pop that on. And I'll do some lashes at the end as well. Now back to the skin, I'm going to use a little bit of Chanel bronzer and this is a contour brush from Samantha Chapman. I'm going to run that just down the back of my cheeks. Take a little bit of my jawbone as well, just to sharpen that because she's got a very strong jawbone. And then in with a powder, I've got Chanel powder, this one is in 20.
Then last of all for the lips, I've got Collection 2000 Lipstick. This one is in Pink Haven, number 12. I'm going to colour my lips in with that. I'm just going to run a tiny bit of Bote gloss over the top. Uh, this one is in Heroin 001. Just a really small amount. No more than that. I don't want it to look too glossy. And there you have the finished look. Hope you've enjoyed that and have a lovely day. Bye bye everybody. I just realised that I didn't put the lashes on or the highlighter on my cheeks that I said I was going to. So uh, this bit is like a little extra bit at the end of the video. You know like when you go to the cinema and you don't want to leave in case there's something else. That's what this bit is. Um, especially if, if anyone's seen the new Twilight. If you leave too early, there's a little bit extra right at the end after all the titles have gone down. Um, okay, lashes. I have got number four lashes from MAC. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my vanilla. And just run that on the top of my cheekbones. Down the centre of my nose. And there you have the actual finished look. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye bye.